Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa for the second consecutive year. That's right, we won last year in 2023 and we retained the title of repeat in this year, 2024. Stop by, we'll show you why like we have many, many others. Today I'm sure this 2010 Honda Stepwagon Spada Edition. This is the new body design. It's approaching 105,000 kilometers on it, which is 65,000 miles. Before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon, you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's Z's Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show the features inside. First, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos, gonna answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more, so please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Honda Stepwagon is an eight-passenger vehicle in the 500 series category, so the mid-size category. Road tax per year is going to be uh, 7,500 yen, which is about four, uh, $50 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we're going to take care of the 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about this till next April or May. Now you do have two ways to pay for this. First one being US dollars cash out rate, which could get you a larger discount. Or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce our overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more, up to you. Before I go inside, I always like showing you the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not gonna get wet inside. More important feature benefit is it's going to be a cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out as I'm feeling right now. And always get yourself a good windshield visor. You got to keep that dash as cool as possible. So in addition to that, uh, you want uh, you may want to consider buying a dash cover, or if you want to keep it simple, get yourself a larger bath towel or a beach towel, lighter in color, and drape that across the dash. Okay. Uh, with that, let's go ahead and jump in, get this baby started. Turn this radio off. Sorry, Troy. 104,799 on the odometer. Uh, and it, this is uh, just coming in. I forgot to mention that. Um, show you a couple of warning lights. That blue one right there is your temperature gauge. So it's going to be blue when the engine's cool. And it's going to stay on. That's normal. It's going to go away when the engine warms up. That's normal. And then it's going to be red if it's overheating. Be on the lookout for that. That's not normal. Then you got three over here. The one on the left, the orange one, obviously your uh, fuel. As I said, it just came in, so we need to put some fuel in there. The one to the right of that, that circular one, is your emergency brake. This one is a hand, uh, I'm sorry, kick tight. When you kick it, disengage it, goes away. Kick it again, comes right back on. Then the one to the right of that, of course, is your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelt. They do give tickets on and off base. And then it does have an eco button here. So that's going to go right in the middle. So if you want to save a little bit on gas, uh, that's what you're going to do. Other than that, very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. And it pops up on the dash while you're driving, especially if it's red. Please pull over immediately, take the necessary action, okay? To the left here on top of the dash, we're in the middle. You have a little display that's going to show you the time on the left side and your air settings on the right side. You have your monitor slash radio. This one does have a rear camera. Little shelf here, maybe for some coins or whatnot. Your shifter, air conditioning controls, your uh, cup holders, power outlet, and a uh, little uh, space down here for storage. Above the glove box, you have a compartment for storage and then the glove box itself. Then a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. That is your passenger space over there. I don't see a road flare down there. But then this is the space I have on my side. The seat is all the way back, all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Uh, I can drive as is or slide us up an inch or two and still be comfortable driving. And it does have armrests. Let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers like on most vehicles. All right. So normally I take this time to show you the auction sheet, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Graded non-accident from the auctions up in mainland. But because it just came in, I keep those inside the office until it's been detailed. Once detailed, I'm going to put it up here on the sun visor, on the driver's side, so you can see that for yourself. We'll help you decipher it if need be. And there are dealers out here that will try to discredit the auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. Let's go over a couple other things before we go to the back seat. Um, 
go over here. I think this is for the illumination of the uh, instrument cluster, and it's a reset for your um, odometer, or the trip meters, I should say. All right, left to the right here. So you have just a little shelf made for coins and whatnot. This does have dual power sliding doors. Your ETC reader, that's your electronic toll collector. This works like Easy Pass in the States if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway. And a, a little storage compartment here made for some coins again. Over here you have your uh, hood release. And then on the door panel you have your uh, mirror, door lock, and window controls all right there. Okay, so let's uh, turn this thing off. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. And let's head to the second row. All you're going to do is pull this handle out one time. And it's going to go. Very ample amount of space back here. All right. So this seat is all the way in the back position. It does have a bar down here that you can pull up. It's going to put you within about an inch of the uh, rear seat. But I'm going to leave it all the way back. And it's going to be about seven inches, okay? Uh, between my uh, knees and the back of the seat. Uh, nothing as far as storage on the back of the driver's seat, but you have pocket storage on the back of the passenger seat. As always, be careful what you put in there. You don't want to rip it. And a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel, okay? It does have this... Uh, center con or center arm as it comes down. It's gonna stay level to how you have the seat reclined So if you go all the way back, it's gonna come up a little you go down farther. It's gonna go down farther. Okay And then it does have the fan control back here And then it does have vents that go all the way back. You want to make sure the vents are facing the right way You definitely don't want them closed So you want to make sure the back are facing the back the middle uh, facing the middle So it's gonna cool down the car a lot quicker. All right now to get to the back seat very, very easy. You're going to pull this handle. This is going to come down and flip up all in one action. Okay? Very easy to get to the back. All right? All right. Just pull that one time and it closes. Come over here. All right, so with the seat all the way back, you can see how much space you still have. All right, you have uh, two cup holders over here, one cup holder over here. Now, the difference between this one and the previous model, previous model had the seats that go uh, up against the side. Now, this is stow and go. Okay, you leave this as is and have this nice space here, or you're going to pull up on these tabs on each side. That's going to go flat. You're going to pull up this handle and pull this, and that's going to come up and down. Uh, that'll lay down flat right here. You're going to use that to hook it, and then you'll have this whole space that's going to be open. So either way, you have plenty of space when needed. Come up to the front here, show you the engine compartment. I'm going to wrap this video up. All right, there you have it, two liter engine, which will be cleaned during the detailing process. There you go. 2010 new body design, um, Honda Stepwagon Spada Edition. It's got 105,000 kilometers on it, which again, about 65,000 miles. Military prices on uh, 6,700. Additional military discount, we'll get it down to 6,500. Again, while you're here, please ask the information you got about on the lot discounts and you will get a lower price on this. For now, the 6500 will include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty, the 2024 road tax, and the 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be the American insurance requirement. Whether you're going to liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick, yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealers, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles, then stop by Johnny's Used Cars and show we have what our program is all about and how it can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. It's one of the many reasons why we did win the Stars and Stripes, Best Pacific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car in Okinawa Award for the second consecutive year. Again, stop by, we'll show you why. Don't forget two ways to pay for it, US dollars cash outright, or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Please like and subscribe, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.